Hey guys and girls, glad to have you back with PSD Box. I'm glad you're back to a new Photoshop tutorial with uh, with me. I'm Andre, and today I will show you how to make this simple horror movie poster in Photoshop. I will use Photoshop CC for this, but uh, you can do it in any Photoshop version um, because we're you know, we're only going to use basic editing techniques, some adjustment layers, and a few blend modes. So um, grab the stock images, they're all free. You can find them on psdbox.com. At the beginning of the, of the tutorial, you'll find the list with the resources I used to make this. Download them and let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is an easy tutorial, so we're not gonna manipulate the woman. I have the image like that already. So I'm gonna open the stock image, which is this one. So uh, we'll start with this. I'm gonna select all, control C. Well, actually, let's. I'm not gonna crop it. So let's simply alt double click to convert the background layer into a normal layer. And with the V key, I'll select the move tool and move it higher up a bit, about there. I'll leave about that much space between her head and the top of the canvas, maybe even less, something like that. And next, we're gonna open the second image. And my second image is this one. I use this forest, but uh, you can use any other image you want. Um, I tried with uh, an image of a house on a hill, which looked really cool, but I think this one looked uh, even better, so I used this one. Uh, it depends on the kind of poster you create and the story behind it, I guess. Um, maybe you could say that the action on this one was happening in a forest or something, like that. I don't know. Uh, there was a. It's not a real movie, so you can do it your own way. Now, uh, let's name this, let's name this monster. And let's name this one trees. Now on the trees layer, I'm gonna create a layer mask and I will select the gradient tool. Make sure you have black to white and select the linear gradient. And I'm gonna drop the opacity a bit so I can see where my the image of my monster ends. So I'm gonna click somewhere here and drag up to create a fading effect like that. Now, in between these two layers, I'm gonna create a hue saturation adjustment. And I'm gonna create, I'm sorry, I'm gonna activate the colorize option. And I'm gonna leave the hue to zero, the saturation to 62, and the lightness to minus 17. This will create this red effect, which um, creates the base for my wallpaper, uh, for my poster, sorry. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is Mm, add a solid color layer. And this is what will gonna give me my color for the whole poster. I'm gonna give you the color code, which you can type down here. It's a six uh, character code. And it's D70D0D. D. So this intense red uh, is what I used. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to darken. You can try other blend modes, of course. I tried different ones, multiply looks pretty good as well, but this one has a bit more light on it and I like how the highlights look with it. On multiply, it's, well, it's looking pretty similar, a bit darker. And you can try overlay as well, but it's too contrasty for my taste. You lose detail here. So with this, with the darker blend mode, you keep the shadows and I like that. Now, um, on the hue saturation, I'm gonna drop the opacity to just 45. It was too saturated. Um, and next, let's add another gradient. Now, the top and bottom part of this poster will be for my text, the title and everything. So we need something a bit darker. Otherwise, we have to type with a really bright uh, text. So let's add a gradient. Now, I wanna have foreground to transparent, it's okay, but I want my foreground color to be black. So now I'm gonna double click again and choose foreground to transparent and 
this gives me black to transparent now I'm gonna choose reverse and select radial make sure you have the light while well, the, the the hole um, in the middle now I'm gonna increase the scale to 200% and the transition it's too soft for my taste so I'm gonna open the gradient editor and on this one on the top just move it to 26% okay this will make the transition a bit harder and I can move this around make it move it to about here you want to see some of the trees and darker part maybe even 175 uh, a bit smaller uh, scale uh, you want to darken the top the bottom and a bit the sides there as well that way you can put the text there so I'm gonna click OK. Next, we're gonna add a selective color adjustment, and I have a tutorial for people that don't want how, don't know how this adjustment works. Uh, I think I have one actually. If I find it, I'm gonna put a screen there so you can click it and go to that tutorial if you're if you wanna learn how this adjustment works. But if you don't know uh, or if you don't wanna learn how that works, just simply put this value: select whites, and on cyan add minus. Uh, uh, 35 plus 35 sorry and on the blacks we're just gonna edit the shadows here I added minus 5 1 minus 11 and 7 and this gives me a touch of blue on the back on the dark tones the next thing I'm gonna do is add a grunge texture and actually I'm gonna get it from here uh, because I don't have it in my stock folder, but you'll have it. You're gonna see it named as texture one, which is this one. I'm gonna grab it and move it to this canvas that I have here. Let's lay it on normal and I have to make it a bit bigger. Uh, actually, let's scale everything to 2000%, uh, 2000 pixels because I'm also recording the video. Now, um, this will fit a bit better, I think. Let's move it again. So just paste this texture. As I said, you'll find it named as texture one. Paste it over your image and change the blend mode to multiply. This will add um, some dirt to your image, as you can see, and it's gonna darken it a bit. Now I'm gonna add a curves, or, um, actually a levels adjustment. And I'm gonna clip this levels to texture one. And I'm gonna do that by pressing Alt and clicking in between the two layers when you see that uh, arrow pointing down. This will convert this into a, a clipping mask and it will only affect texture one. Now with this I'm gonna move this to the, the highlights to the left a bit and I'm gonna darken the darks and the mid-tones. You can see how this will add more grunge to my image. See that? And I think it makes it look cool without the texture and with the texture. Now, let's move on and add the title. I used a font called uh, uh, Face Your Fears. And another one that looks good is Something Strange and DK Mothman. Uh, they're all free from the internet. I think I found them from FontSpace or dafont.com or something like that. But for the main title, I'm gonna use Face Your Fears. I'm gonna Put my text um, tool there and I'm gonna name this Insomnia. I'm not really original for titles but anyways you can name your poster or your movie however you want and you can use the size you want you maybe you can want something really small there um, I don't know uh, I wanted to have something a bit bigger so I'm gonna leave this to 400 and I'm gonna place it over there. Now, white is it's too distracting and it's not um, it's not good with the background. I think it's too different. So, what I did is I used textures. I'm gonna open my stock folder again, and I'm gonna open this this one, which uh, you'll find as texture two. My hard drive is a bit slow. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it over my main title. And of course, I'm gonna, you can see it's covering the whole image. So I want only, I want this to be visible only over my title. So I'm gonna Alt click to make it a clipping mask. And I wanna, I wanna have a 
smaller texture as well. So I'm going to make it smaller a bit. Press and hold the shift key while you do it. Otherwise, you will get something, you will get distortion. So I want to keep the proportions. So I'm going to put it right over there. And make sure part of that darkness of the texture is not covering too much of the title. Otherwise, it will not be visible. So try to have wide bits on it. And I'm going to desaturate it with shift control U or from um, image adjustments, desaturate. And now I'm going to open another texture, which you'll find as texture three. So I'm going to open it. Oh, no, not this one. This one. You'll find it in the on the website as texture three. So I'm going to crop this and paste it on top. And I have to clip it again to the main title. And I'm going to move it around and make it a bit smaller as well. Now this time I have to use the hue saturation. So I'm going to press control U to open that. And I'm going to check the colorize option. Hue set to zero and increase the saturation until you get a bright red like this one. You can also darken it if you want, but I suggest you don't touch this. So uh, we can do this with level with levels. Now, once you have this red effect, change the blend mode to multiply. Now this will interact with the bottom layer and you can see how it looks like. It's too dark for my taste. I want to see more of that, of those bits, of those white bits. So uh, because we have the multiply blend mode, we can use levels on this same layer. Let's name this texture three and this one texture two. So if you have any questions, uh, name the layer where you have the problem if necessary. Now on texture three, I'm going to press control L to open the levels. This time I work destructively because if I add a, um, a levels adjustment clipped, it will also affect texture two. So I'm going to move this to the left to brighten my texture three. And you can see the brightest parts become invisible and the bottom texture is starts to become visible. And with the mid tones, I can bring back some of that. And that way I can see some of the white bits of my text, which makes it stand out a bit. I'll probably move the texture a bit so I can find a better distribution. Uh, probably this one. If the bottom one makes your text look too dark, what you can do is use levels here as well. So press Ctrl Command L and move this towards the left and dark and brighten it. Sorry, if you if you need to. And that's how I created the main title. I also added some shadow. So double click the title layer and create some drop shadow. You can see the settings that I used black on multiply distance about 30 pixels and a big size just to have a smooth, soft shadow like that. See that over there before and after and click OK. And for the subtitle, I used the same. Actually, you can duplicate all this layer with control J, select them and then move it down here and simply use a smaller font size about 150. And I think I named the beginning or something like that. That's really up to up to you. And I think I used only the um, I use a darker tone you can see for the for that one. So I think I'm going to leave it on normal and something like that. And maybe you can add a color overlay or change the color of the text. And this one set to multiply is not, is not working because the text, it's not looking nice. Oops, the text set has to be on normal and the texture on multiply. And this one on multiply as well. And that's how it looks like. Now, um, basically, that's that's how I created this poster. Uh, all the rest of the text here will make your poster look a bit more realistic. You can see here I they add some random text from the director of three days. Three days is actually the name of another poster that I created uh, for a premium tutorial. And <laughs> 
the rest of the text is just uh, random text. I'm gonna move it to my other document so you can see how it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna select it and with the move tool, I'm gonna move it to right over here. And for the credits, um, there's a font that you can use to create your own credits. Um, there's one over here, but actually if you're lazy like I was when I made this, you can just simply go to, to Google and uh, let's type um, movie poster credits PNG. And here you'll find, if you go to images, you will find this PNG files, which you can use. Uh, try to find a pretty high resolution one like this one. I'm gonna copy, right click, copy image, and I'm gonna paste it on top of everything here and move it down. And now uh, with Control Command U, I'm gonna open Hue Saturation and increase the lightness to 100%. And this is how it looks like. And if you wanna give it this red color that you have for the rest of the poster, if you wanna have this reddish color, you can press Control Command U again and check colorize and darken it a bit this text like so and increase the, the saturation and there you have it you have your credits in just a few seconds so that's how I created this poster it's really easy I think it's something really pretty much anybody can do if you have basic Photoshop skills and I would really like to see your creations. I will create a hashtag. Uh, I will use the same hashtag as on the Spanish version of this um, tutorial. And if you use this hashtag that you see on the screen uh, and you upload your creation in, on Instagram, you will see your image appearing under the tutorial along with the rest of the image that other um, people made. So I really like to see what you create and you can, create alternative posters. It doesn't have to be necessary exactly like this one. Uh, you can use other images if you want. But if you use the hashtag that you see on the screen, uh, you will see your uh, your image here on the, on the screen on my website. So uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Andre from PSD Box and we'll see you next time.